Hey guys, Keith War here. I thought I'd give you guys an update on what's going on with uh, Perry. And um, we're here in his hotel room that Gary Altman has put him up in until he gets his housing. And we're here with one of his friends, Todd. Uh, Todd's a guy, he was a, a homeless vet himself. And Todd took Perry in periodically, now and again, uh, to get him off the street, help him do some laundry, um, just give him a safe place to be and um, shower and clean up and fed him and, and things like that. So. Uh, we're going to hear from Todd and we're going to hear from Perry. So, um, Perry, what's what's been going on with you? What's uh, going on since since you saw Gary Altman? What's your uh, life been like? My my life, truthfully, is on an upswing. It's, um, you know, I've got, I've I've made decisions to move away from the people that have bad influences. And, you know, Todd, Todd's helped me so much and he allows me to stay there and take a shower and stuff like that. And you know, it, 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 it sounds like simple stuff, but. Well, I know in my, in my first interview with you, and you told me you were able to get off the streets about eight days a month, and yeah. you were telling me that um, you yeah. had to pay usually thirty or forty dollars um, to stay okay. there. Yeah. And um, I just want everybody to know, yeah. um, Todd's heart is bigger than his wallet, and mm -hmm. Todd, for that money, would wash Perry's clothes, uh, feed him, and let him use anything he needed. So it wasn't a matter of greed. He wasn't making a buck on him. This was all strictly because the only way he could lend him a helping hand was, you know, by the, the 30 or $40. So that's totally understandable. Um, but so, but and, without, without Todd's help, I, 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 would, I would still be in the woods. And he gave but you a little bit of a break is, at times. But with his help, I've been able to make a forward movement and he's he's allowed me that chance he's allowed me the opportunity to well, better myself and that's because Todd himself understands because he himself was homeless yeah one time he's a veteran yeah. he was homeless yeah um, but uh, let's fill people in on um, what's going on with you did you get approved for your housing are uh, you Yes, uh, I've got approved. I just have to go through a couple of different interviews. And so you, have, stuff. you told me you have to get your place inspected. Yes. And and, and if everything goes uh, through just fine, you will have your place on December first. Is that uh, right? I'm I'm very hopeful. It, you know, it's 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 all it's all, it's all hinge. It's like hit or miss. Kind yeah. Of. So if you pass the inspection and stuff, then chances uh, are you're going to be off the street December first for sure. Um, all the stuff. That's what what we've been told so far. So yes, far. Yes. Yes. Um, but you've had a little bump in the road. Uh, yeah. This week you were in the hospital for a couple days. Right. Um, yeah. Tell pe tell people what happened. How you got put in the hospital. Like how was it even discovered that you needed to go and what did you go for? Well, I I have a. Uh, a chronic infection in my bone. In the bone of the leg that you lost. Yes, um, it's and it's very painful, you know. But and yeah. you went Monday to the VA to an appointment, and they found an infection. Yes, and, and then I, I spent a few days in the hospital. And they gave you some antibiotics and things. Yeah, I was IV antibiotics and that. But uh, the one thing they did that I did not like, right? It was the day they released me. They gave me a bunch of drugs that had you out of it. Yeah. Yeah, just I couldn't. You guys. I couldn't. I couldn't even. I mean. It it was very hard for me to uh, to even walk. Right. And 
Uh, uh, well, let me fill people in on this. Um, Perry called me at about five o'clock in the morning and said, hey, I'm at the hospital, I'm up here off of Wickham Road, uh, and I need a ride home. And I was a little kind of shocked by that, that one, you're being discharged at like 5.15 in the morning, and two, I was shocked that they didn't offer to, you know, have a cab drive you home or, or something like that. Uh, it was just a little shocking that they kind of left you hanging. And then on top of that, um, security guard ran him off the property, so you were actually starting to walk towards the VA and um, you weren't quite with it in your mind and stuff like that. You were very uh, sedated from the drugs that yeah. they gave you. And I just cannot believe they threw you on the street. But that's what happened. Yeah, I vouch for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think all those veterans can. Yeah. I, I mean, he, he was so out of it and stuff that I've never seen him like that. Right, you, right. You know? So yeah. um, let's I let's mean, you, you, you've seen me on... Um, Drinking. Right, right. We've seen Perry but, drinking. I mean, we know he's I mean, normal out of it, but, but, he, but that mean, wasn't his eye. Yeah, he, he was out of it. it was, I mean, his eyes was rolling in the back of his head. And I was like, yeah. oh my God, what am I going to do now? Yeah. 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 But I'm he. i worried for you. He, 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 held, he held my hand to it. So let's talk about this. Um, how do you two know each other, Todd? If you could tell me how you we know met Perry. through WinVet and yeah. stuff. What's what's WinVet for people who don't know? What's WinVet? It's it's, it's uh, housing for the homeless, but it, for homeless veterans, but it, yeah. it's not the same because they don't. There's real strict rules and stuff that you have to abide by, and not, everybody is not like you know the same. Huh. Right the same person or anything else like that right you're and living with a bunch of different other vets or in a group or, setting yeah no real privacy things like yeah that. and i got kids myself and stuff and i was I'm i was trying to get out of there and things myself right mm -hmm. and, and how many years ago how, how long ago was this that you guys met oh god three years yeah something like that yeah so and and how long have you been off the streets now? Have you been off the streets the whole three years? Uh, no, since no, no, no. How long have you been uh, off the streets? Uh, maybe a year. Of, not maybe. even a year. It's yeah. only been since September. Hey, can you take your hat off so we can get a good look at you? No, Go ahead and yes. sleep. if you can leave it off for the, ex the rest of the interview, that'd no, be great. He, he but, has, um, uh, no, I mean but, he's um, been. He hasn't been off the streets that long. I mean, You've been off the streets about a year, you say? Uh, about a maybe, year. Maybe. Eight, yeah. eight months, I'd yeah, say. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Yeah. And how long did it take you to get off the street? Like, how long did it how take long the time take? you yeah. applied to the time they actually had you in a place? <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, well, oh, man, that's got to be Try over. Not to swear. <laughs> that's got to be over a year and a half. No, it's not been that long. Uh, um... But it took longer than what's going on with Perry. It, it didn't yeah. happen Mine for you. took longer than what's yeah. going on with Perry. You, yeah. I think you told me it took you about eight months from the time you started yeah. filling out paperwork to the time you got a place. You told me it took about eight months before. Is that about right? Does that sound about, about right? About six months. A little about six months, something like that. But I had to do all the footwork myself, and I had to keep on. I had to keep on pushing people. Right. And right. And, and Perry's Perry's very lucky because the attention that my video got has really helped Perry a lot. Right, and and, and, and plus I gave him some advice on how to go about things and stuff. Yeah. You know, without his guidance, it I I still would be without. But with well, it's his awesome guidance, to finally meet you because Perry's told me so much about you, about you helping him out and stuff like that. You know about like right. what he's saying about you know how to go about things and stuff like that it sounds to me like you know if you had the opportunity i know physically you're not really up to it i know people can't really tell but probably if you were better physical condition you yourself would probably be, be good at helping other veterans get off the streets i would, I would and, definitely i would definitely do that's, that. that's what we, that's our goal actually our goal is unfortunately we have to take care of ourselves and then our next step as a team will be to take care of other people. And that's what we need to do because right. I mean, that's, what, that's, 
that's what we need to but do. Wouldn't you agree? I told Perry he needs to take a solid year and dedicate it to himself and get him his own life in order before he reaches out and helps other people, which I think is really a fair thing. I agree with that. I mean, I didn't do it, but I, I mean, I agree with it. I, I totally I, agree. I, 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 I've, I, learned, I've learned I, to back off from helping other people and stuff like that on certain <laughs> things because I get, I still have things I have to take care of, which right. I, I can't even take care of sometimes. Yeah, and you know what but, you, but you've reached out to me. In the last of a year. And you, you know what? You know what? I, you know, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but this is a real emotional thing um, for both Perry and Todd. Um, you know, I know people who, families who squabble about um, inheritances and who's getting fifty cents more than the other, or you know, things like that. And it oh, seems like shocks. people with money, um, you know, they just go about their business. Shocks. But, but I'm just saying, it just seems like people who have the least amount of resources like yourself have the most generous and giving heart. I think maybe part of it is because you've lived it, you've been in the shoes, you've been in Perry's shoes, you've been homeless yeah. yourself. But you see, together, we can, we can, As a we team, can move a mountain. We can, we can yeah. And we can move a mountain. We can make things happen. And I, I really appreciate all the things that you, that you know, Lee Shaw, I him. mean, he's he, he has been inspirational. And what kind of other things has has Todd been able to do? Anything I'm able to. Uh, one big thing? Yeah, what's the big thing? Every now and then he gives me a hug. <laughs> yeah, I told you we're, we're turning like brothers. That's that's great. Man. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm adjusting my camera a little bit. But, uh, I don't have a camera, full-time camera, man. I wish I did. Um, but you know, that, that's really that's really cool, man. And and I noticed that um, your girlfriend's been quite supportive of you helping and, and things like that and and I know that that has to interfere a little bit with a relationship and you know, no, not, not really I mean she's she's been uh, there beside me the whole time you know yeah, she, yeah but to bring a person yeah. in off the street to, to she, let she, them stay with you is she, can sometimes be a little disruptive to she, what you have going on no she, actually she, she hates me <laughs> <laughs> she don't hate you you're so full of it. <laughs> this is, this is, actually, she loves you. Man. This is, I get jealous sometimes. Come on now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know, it, it's so nice. You know, when somebody like Gary Altman, who who does have the financial power that you and I don't have, yeah. he reached out and basically. Uh, did what you tried to do for Perry, which is, you know, get him off the street uh, and help him out and things like yeah, that. Uh, you just It's just like the other day when Perry come back from the hospital and I brought him to your house. People don't know, but you cooked for him and made him a little care package to bring back here to the hotel room. Unfortunately, uh, it got lost in my back seat. <laughs> but, um, you know, you're not even related to Perry, and you've done a lot of stuff to um, reach out and, and treat him like a fellow brother. And, and I know us, you know, being a band of brothers, being veterans, um, things are a little different for us in the way we see each other and help each other. And, and, and a lot of people don't understand that. Well, the thing is, is a lot of people yeah. haven't, haven't done what we've done. That's, right. the, that's the whole bottom line. And the thing is, is I got to stand up for a second. Uh, but. I, there's a lot of things we've done. Common experiences that we've and, shared and others and not. That we don't and, like. Well, and we can't talk about. Right, with just anybody. No, it, no. I mean, we can't talk we, about no, there's to any, we can't talk about. anything. I mean, I was, I was do you with know? Submarines, I, 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 there's things I can't talk about. Yeah, I mean, we 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 did things that were probably not 
good and but it created but, a kind of a brotherhood and things like that but yeah. that's what it is it's when when you're in the military you're you 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 lose you, a little uh, something of yourself they of your they, they self. break you right. down right yeah for sure the first thing they do is they break you down and then, and then they rebuild you into their mold if that makes sense. Well, yeah, um, we're not going to go on and on. I'm, I'm about done with the interview, but um, this is awesome. You know, everyone's wanted to know what's going on with you and stuff like that. And, you know, I just thought I would give them a little update, a little video from the scene. Uh, my curiosity, like I said, was piqued about what's going on I'll with uh, do that. you and how you knew Perry and whatnot. But um, oh, this boy. is real nice, guys. So uh, I, I appreciate uh, Todd you coming and, and yeah, doing this interview and, uh, and talking. No problem, I uh, and uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, my buddy. All right, guys. Um, we will be yeah. back later with an update. Sorry for soon, a cry. <laughs> as soon yeah. as Perry gets in his place, and uh, we'll have happier stuff to report on. But uh, I thank you guys for watching, and if you guys could please subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.